Okay, welcome to my first tutorial on StarMade. This will be the installation tutorial. So if you're unsure of how to actually install the game, this is what's going to help you out. Go to star-made.org and then click on download. Choose the correct version for your operating system. I use the regular and then just agree to the terms and click download. Once you've actually downloaded the file, you'll find it in your uh, downloads folder wherever that may be what is it doing? do you know what I mean? I didn't do that fucking useless piece of crap start again for the third fucking time right I'll just go from there so you can see all downloads and you can see the file is located in the See, this is what I mean. Get that off the list. Continuity, man. Fuck. So once this is downloaded, all you have to do is uh, click on your Downloads folder. And in Chrome, you can do that with Control-J or Menu, Downloads. And then click View in Folder. That will open the folder it downloaded to, meaning you don't have to dig around for it. Now once we've got our StarMade starter I'm just going to put it on my desktop and create a folder called StarMade I'm going to drag and drop the StarMade starter in there this will keep it all separate from anything else this does also mean that you can run multiple installations but we'll cover that in a separate video so we're going to double click StarMade starter dot exe and up will come the launcher as you can see we've got uh, some kind of update here so update and install latest version and what that's actually going to do if we look back into the folder is it's downloading the zip file with the current build now when that's finished downloading it'll extract it to a folder called StarMade with a capital S and a capital M that would be your default installation path for this particular install. So once that has completed I will continue, so two seconds. While it's installing, a few points to mention. You might want to think about updating your Java and if you have a 64-bit operating system getting the latest version of that, the 64-bit Java. Um, also if you have a graphics card, Nvidia or ATI or even the Intel integrated card you may want to look at your manufacturer's website or the card manufacturer's website just to update your graphics drivers because that can also make a big difference um, and then we'll go through the rest of the settings once it's finished installing okay so it's finished uh, downloading so as you can see we just have a look at the install folder it's created we've got the StarMade starter launcher which is this and that is how you actually get the game running then you've got the StarMade folder if we double click in here we can see everything that's been created by the uh, installation but not running it yet so it's still missing a few things so in order to complete this we do need to run it once so I'm just going to click on start game in the launcher and you can see here it's already started to create some of the new files um, and I'm just going to put in a name so we're going to go Captain Kirk and you don't need to uplink to StarMade that's only for uh, signing into servers with authentication so, um, or if you want to upload your blueprints to the ship's catalogue on the public database so for the game mode it's going to be sandbox you can use localhost 4242 um, but if you do it this way it'll just open the dedicated server for you automatically so you don't need to do it separately um, there's a couple of things in here which we're going to go through in later videos so but the first thing I want to go go you know really important one for me is the uh, other than the obvious graphical settings okay um, is the advanced settings here so we're going to click that now if you have a look down here you can see there's a lot more in terms of uh, options okay there's a lot more in terms of options you can change all of these to optimize your performance depending on what machine you have okay 
Now I believe we've actually missed something out because it was already running. So I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to go back. I'm going to double click the starter launcher. Click run. And then from the launcher, options, memory settings. This is something which people forget to do. So um, don't worry about the dedicated server settings too much. I mean, I've got I think uh, I've got eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM on this particular machine. So I've left four for the uh, well, huh. I've left three for the no yeah yeah I've left four uh, gigabytes for the operating system, and then I've allowed the game to have another four, um, uh, but it'll it'll never use all of it. So. Windows will never use all the bits either, so that's what I set mine to anyway on the server. For the client, I actually put less in because you know you don't want to uh, use all the memory up. But um, that's wrong as well. There we go. So what I'd like to do is put 1,024 in early generation, 3,072 in initial, and then 4,096 in the max. But it does depend on what the server is set to. Like I say, so you need to double check both. So in we go to start the game. And you can work that out if you're unsure of how to do that. Um, just use half of whatever your computer has. So if you have eight gigabytes, only use four max. Okay? Um, and then obviously you write it like uh, you write it as the you write it as I have. 1024, 2048, and so on, or in or with 512 increments, you know, increments of 512 megabytes. Right, if anyone's unsure of that, comment below now. So, we can actually put our name in again because, of course, we never, we never logged in last time. So, Captain Kirk and Sick, okay. So, it's opened up the uh, thing by itself, opened up the server. And now we're loading the game. Now I'm not going to carry on doing it with this program. All I'm going to do is spawn and the tutorial will start. I'm going to end the tutorial and now we're going to exit the game. Okay, now if you look in here now you'll see there's a whole load more stuff. And this is all to do with your uh, settings for your player and all that good stuff. So at this point, you can just start playing. Um, just to run through it again, you'll have a StarMades folder on your desktop, which we've just installed everything to. You'll want to open that and click StarMade-Starter. And once you've opened that, click Run. And once that opens, click Start. Choose your login name and press Enter while the cursor's still up there, or just go down and click OK. Um, but also at this point, if you did have a multiplayer server address, you can check the radio uh, button and then enter in the address here. For example, sm.example.com 4242. Okay, 4242 is the default port that you probably want to try out first. Um, but uh, they may not have a name, it may just be like, you know, numbers although it won't be 192 unless you're local. So I'm going to cover more of these little pieces in detail, but I think that's pretty much it for the installation tutorial. So thanks for watching, and uh, please watch the next one. So that's the game installed, and... Um, there will be more tutorials following to show other elements of this, but uh, if you have any questions please leave them below. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the next one.